world changes soon can get a doobie on a plane but there's uzis in our schools every dude who touched a boob or a booty getting me too what you expect from the kids who went to hooters after school we're all triggered and defensive we're all racist and we're sexist we all grew up watching south park how are we offended now being fat is beautiful name a thing that you can't do jumping jacks run a mile live past 42 man it used to be cool to just flip a bird to the system and now it's welcome to, to the red pill sports entertainment show i am your host albert apache and as usual, brought to you by open source, self-defense, fitness, and grappling. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we are going to take a look at combat jujitsu. The welterweights has crowned a new champion. That champion would be Roberto Jimenez. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Now, let me please remind you right now, like, subscribe, comment down below whether you agree or you disagree. Okay, guys, trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark so we can do some fun stuff going live. Okay, well, I picked this because I think it's very interesting. I think Roberto is an up-and-coming star in jiu-jitsu. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the tournament. All right, so Roberto was a crowned the champ uh, combat jujitsu, the welterweights. This young man, I believe, is 20 years old. He might be 21. Um, I know he is extremely young. Here you see him winning the championship via a triangle off of his back. Look at this finish here, guys. Just an amazing tactician. Gets the arm across. One of the things I noticed was the way he's flaring his feet back. I know this is one of the things that I'm actually work on. I'm very sloppy about keeping my feet flexed in that manner. Gets the tap. Wins. Here, watching him go up against a guy who looks like he is much heavier than a welterweight. Uh, gets the back, and he is going to end up finishing with a reverse or excuse me, a rear naked choke. A um, lot of those strikes really starting to break down the guy on bottom. This combat jiu-jitsu style was, I think, an amazing change of pace to jiu-jitsu. The idea that you can have open hand strikes well on the ground does expose some styles of jiu-jitsu. I personally think that Roberto's style really was going to fit in well with the combat jiu-jitsu style because he loves to attack the back, which again, it's hard to get hit in the face when you're attacking the back. And he also, if you notice here, look, he's playing from close guard. Look at the style he uses to get to this triangle. He was breaking the posture the entire time. That wasn't something that he had to train on to come into this tournament. He grapples in this style. Look at that beautiful triangle to the arm bar, both in there at the same time, jumps four guard gets back to the feet wow beautiful duck under where that's what we're going to be talking about today gets to the back eventually slides over it's going to lock in this arm triangle here and it will not be long now the tap is coming look at that squeeze very tight getting that body triangle and really locking his opponent into position well, he puts on the squeeze, and there is the tap. All right, guys, so what we're going to talk about today is the Duck Under by Roberto Jimenez. I really want to break this down. One of the reasons why I like this technique and why I chose this technique to look at is because when I first started out at Jiu-Jitsu, this was one of the clinch positions I was able to achieve um, on a consistent basis early on. I really felt that it was a good technique for beginners. So let's check it out. Okay, I really like the way Roberto is doing this here. He's, look how he's moving back and forth. As soon as he grabs a hold of the back, notice he almost has like a collar tie, but his hand is more flat. He's going to shoot through. He wraps up the hip. He comes around the corner. Now let's take a look at that one more time. This time, let's look at the shot and how he comes around the corner. There's the shot deep, hugging the hip deep. Now watch as he swings his hips all the way around the opponent's left leg. Boom, gets perpendicular. Now let's watch that in full speed. 
nicely done, beautiful. What I really like about it is it's not extremely fast. It's not blazing fast, it's just smooth. And it goes back to that old saying that, you know, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Let's check it out here. He shoots for it and it gets stuffed. Let's see why this one gets stuffed. Right here, boom. Look how low he allows his opponent's right hand to be as he shoots in for the duck under. He is not beneath his opponent's arm. His, his hand is in the way. This is going to allow him to make space and frame and eventually here give that stiff arm and get away. But let's watch the follow-up. The follow-up, he goes for it again. This time, look how high the opponent's right hand is. Very high. Allowing Roberto plenty of space to duck under, hug the hip, and again that beautiful spin and getting the hips out to make that perpendicular angle. We saw the finish of this one before, guys. He takes the back, gets some strikes, softens up the opponent, and finishes with the rear naked choke. Look, guys, I know that the throne is vacant right now. I know Roberto has recently matched up within the last year or so against both Gordon Ryan and Craig Jones. He has come up short. Do not let that have you sell this young man short. He is amazing. He's amazing. He remember, remember, he is only about 20 years old. He's barely going to be 21, if not just turn 21. This young man is going to be an amazing star in jiu-jitsu. I love the way that he grapples. He's constantly attacking. He's going for the back. He's playing the close guard. And his style really... While it kind of has an old school feel, it has a more new school pace. And that's what I really enjoy about watching Roberto is that his style is refreshing yet retro. Okay, guys. So that's what I have. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. I know it's been a minute, guys. Been ridiculously busy in the personal life and things of that nature. So I'm really sorry I haven't been putting out content. I'm going to try and get out some more stuff. Again, please like, subscribe, comment down below if you agree or disagree. If there's another match or another fighter you want me to follow through the combat jujitsu, maybe pick a technique to break down. We will take a look at it. Really quick breakdowns, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, that's all I got. So until next time, remember, be practical, be purposeful, Hi, get fit with the, the purpose, world guys. Soon, can get a doobie on a plane, but there's Uzis in our schools. Every dude who touched a boob or a booty getting me too. What you expect from the kids who went to Hooters after school? We're all triggered and defensive. We're all racist and we're sexist. We all grew up watching South Park. How are we offended? Now being fat is beautiful. Name a thing that you can't do. Jumping jacks, run a mile, live past 42. Man, it used to be cool to just flip a bird to the system. And now it's trendy to be triggered and pretend you're a victim. It's my race, it's my weight, it's because I'm a Christian. I hate the internet and anyone who has an opinion. And everybody angry if you say white. K okay, fine. Pass me the brush and I'll paint my face to the shades right. Let's talk about abortion. Sorry, tell me how this works. Bacteria is life on Mars, but a heartbeat isn't life on Earth. Weird. Man,